Hello everyone, today we are going to learn how to write Shorobono, which are the first 11 letters of the Bangla alphabet. At the end of the video, I will also teach you some tricks to remember each letter. So let's get started. The first one is... Shoreo. Say it with me. Shoreo. Shoreo sounds like o. Oh. Put some parentheses, yes. Second one is Shoreya. Say it with me. Shoreya. Third one. You do a matra and then you go like a two that we write in English. And then this is what I call a tail. When I was younger, calling this a tail helped me remember the each letter that has this. So you can call this whatever you want. I call this a tail. So this is Russia E. Russia E. Tail again. Birko E. Say it with me. Birko E. So here's the thing. When we say Rosho E, Rosho means little and Dirgo means long. So this is actually supposed to be a little bit less. So when you say this, it's supposed to be with less force and with less intensity than this one. However, the difference in these two is so small that when you say it, it sounds the same. So essentially, it sounds the same. It doesn't really matter. You don't have to say E. E each time. Is they're both E. Shoreo, 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 rosho E, dirgho E. Now let's go. Tail again. Rosho U. Say it with me. Roshau Say it with me Dirkau Then we have D D Rosha U Dirko U D This kind of looks like a heart, doesn't it? An open heart. It also has this head thing that I call this a head. You can call it whatever you want to. This has a head. Just like Shore O. Shore O also had this hat. Shore A also had this hat. Rosho E has this hat. Dirgo E also had this hat. You don't really have to do it, but it's common for people writing Bengali to do it. Like, Ri also has this hat. So, A. A. Oi. Oi, mate. Oi. Okay. Oh. Okay. Excuse my writing, please. Oh. Oh. This is. Oh. A. Oi. Oh. Oh, so as I promised, I'm going to teach you some tricks on how to remember each one of these. So, 
It's important to note that Bangla alphabet has two types of letters, one with matra and the ones without matra. Most of the letters have matra. So for the ones that have matra, for example, shoreo, shorea, roshui, dirhoi, roshu, dirhori, it's useful to write the matra first, to draw the matra first, and then the rest of the body. But for the ones that don't have matra, a, oi, o, o, we don't have to, but the ones, the ones that have matra, I recommend drawing the matra first and then the rest of the body. Also, one thing that helped me a lot to remember these things is the fact that they come in pairs. Look at this. Shoreo. Okay, I should use a different color. Give me a second. So, Shoreo and Shoreo, look at this. They look almost similar and they sound similar too. So, almost all of them, like in Shoreo, almost all of them come in pairs and the ones that come in pairs sound and look similar. Roshoi and Dirhoi look similar. They both look like twos but little fancy with tails. And they sound the same. E, E. Rosho and Dirho. They also come in a pair and they sound the same. Ooh, ooh. Ri, the only lonely guy. <laughs> the only lonely guy. He doesn't come in any pair, so he's just Ri. But A and Oi. A and Oi come in pair. They look similar and they sound similar. O and O. They look similar and they sound similar. So if you know Rosho U and you can remember what's the next one. Remember that the next one is going to be similar, sound similar, it's going to sound similar, and it's going to look similar. That's it for today. I'll see you again in my next video. Thanks for watching.